The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Today we remember a remarkable man who stood by that motto throughout his life. Selfless passion, immensely strong motivation and unconditional love to help others. These remind us of the one and only legend Dr. G. Viswanathan. Dr. G. Viswanathan was born on April 17th 1905 in Burma to Mr Govindam Pillai and Mrs Sundara Mal Mr V Govindam Pillai who hailed from Tiruvallad Solai Trichy worked as a teacher at Burma Engineering School Dr G Viswanathan moved to Sri Rangam and continued his studies at Sri Rangam Boys Higher Secondary School Dr G Viswanathan completed his medicine at Madras Medical College During his college days he got married to the wonderful Miss Kamalam. During his studies he suffered an attack of tuberculosis for which there was no treatment those days. He was bedridden for more than a year and kept in an isolation ward in Government Royapeta Hospital Chennai. He was advised to take high nutrient diet. Assuming that he will not survive the illness, his wife Mrs. Kamalam was asked to be by his side with him in Chennai. Due to the tender loving care given by her to Dr. G. Viswanathan, he defeated the illness. This devout full lady was a silent heroine and the main reason for Dr. G. Viswanathan's success as a doctor, as a loving family man and a compassionate human. This major incident in his life motivated him to serve the poor and needy. Dr G Viswanathan along with his brother Thiru G Chitrambalam who was practicing dentistry were attending to patients for many years at Chowk Trichy which was located in the heart of the city. Dr G Viswanathan was blessed with two sons Dr V Jayapal and Dr V Kanagaraj. In 1940 and early 50s Dr G Viswanathan served as an honorary surgeon at government headquarters hospital Trichy in the 1950s Dr G Viswanathan hospital moved to the current premises in Babu Road with an operation theater facility where he introduced boilers apparatus for the first time in South Tamil Nadu to quote an incident of how innovative he was in the olden days when the generator facility wasn't available Power cuts during a surgery were frequent and his Morris minor vehicle would supply power to the operating table so that they can continue the surgery without any interruption. One day Dr G Viswanathan was awakened in the middle of the night to conduct a home delivery at Manachanallur. He reached the patient's house on a bullock cart conducted the labor and was paid 5 rupees along with betel leaves as fees. The greatness of Dr G Viswanathan was that he gave the money back for post delivery expenses and took only the betel leaves. This is one of the many incidences which stand as a testimony to the great service rendered to humanity. In 1963 he opened another block in Singaratoppu. His honorable service extended to schools, college, slums, prisoners etc. He served as the president of the Indian Medical Association Trichy. During his practice a small boy from Shankara Madam came for treatment and was treated free of cost as he was from the Madam. The same boy was inducted as Kanji Mat chief Shri Jayendra Saraswati. When the Hindu Mission Hospital in Trichy was open Shri Jayendra Saraswati invited Dr G Vishwanathan and made him the founder president of Hindu Mission Trichy. At that occasion Kanji Mat chief Shri Jayendra Saraswati quoted this incident of him being treated free of cost by Dr G Vishwanathan in his childhood Dr G Vishwanathan was the driving force for his widowed sister to continue her school and medical education Dr G Sakuntala graduated from Stanley Medical College and came out with flying colors and became the first obstetrician in Trichy She joined her brother Dr G Viswanathan in Babu Road and later started a maternity home in Tillai Nagar. Most of the senior gynecologists were trained by her. Dr V Jayapal and Dr V Kanagraj along with his wife Dr Shanta 
followed the footsteps of Dr. G. Viswanathan and continued the selfless, charitable, free service to the society. In the early 50s, patients were referred to Adyar Cancer Institute for treatment and patients stayed at Chowtree, close to Central, and this place was closed at a short duration. Dr. G. Viswanathan's dream was to start her own cancer center in Trichy. In 1989, Dr. V. Jayapal and Dr. V. Kanagaraj fulfilled the dream of their father with telecobalt and brachytherapy, first cancer institute in South Tamil Nadu. They also started the School of Nursing in 1993 and Paramedical Colleges for Nursing and Physiotherapy in 1999. Dr. V. Kanagaraj had a free clinic at home to serve the underprivileged in and around his residence. With great power comes greater responsibility and the responsibility is always taken as a challenge to find ways to provide service to the people. Dr. G. Vishwanathan Hospital's list and many first to their credits. 1952 Boyle's apparatus was introduced in South Tamil Nadu. 1968 300 MA X-ray machine introduced for the first time in Trichy. 1984, Dr. G. Viswanathan's divine service ended. 1995, Dr. K. Shanta's selfless service ended after a brave fight against breast cancer. 1997, Dr. Shakuntala's passionate service ended. Dr. G. Vishwanathan Institute of Oncology and Nuclear Medicine was started in Trichy. First gamma spect camera and I-131 therapy was introduced in Trichy. 2005 Dr. Shanta Breast Cancer Foundation was started. SPCF is a registered non-profit charitable organization inaugurated by Padma Vibhushan and Raman Magsese Awardee Dr. V. Shanta, Chairman Cancer Institute, Adyar, Chennai. More than 300 camps have been conducted all over Tamil Nadu. The services of the foundation were deeply appreciated by the President, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. 2009, Dr. G. Viswanathan Speciality Hospital, New Block in Babu Road was inaugurated. 2009, Shantalaya Hospice, the first non-profit, a completely free hospital in Trichy was started with the noble cause of treating the terminally ill and neglected cancer patients with utmost love and care. The hospice has treated more than 1000 patients with free food, treatment and accommodation. 400 patients have had comfortable, painless, dignified death. 2012 Dr. V. Kanagaraj was awarded the prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award in recognition of his exemplary contribution to the cause of medical education and healthcare services by Dr. MGR Medical University. 2012 A mobile mammography unit, Mamobus, was first introduced in South India by Dr. K. Shanta Breast Cancer Foundation. This bus was made a reality by major grants from the TRF, Rotary Club of Sri Rangam, RID 3000 and American Tamil Medical Association USA. So far, the bus has travelled 25,000 km covering the length and breadth of Tamil Nadu. The mammography screening has been done for more than 13,000 women and more than 1 lakh women have been educated on breast diseases. 2014. A new block, Dr. G. Viswanathan Hospital was started at Mambalasalai. 2014. High-end state-of-art LINAC with three energy photons and four energy electrons with VMAT, IMRT, IGRT facilities for cancer treatment was started for the first time in Trichy along with the famous CBCC USA. 2016 Dr. V. Kanagarad's humble service ended. It is said that compassion and empathy are the two best medicines which can be offered by the doctors and legends like Dr. G. Vishwanathan 
डॉक्टर वी कनगराज डॉक्टर जी शकुंतला डॉक्टर के शांता हु हैव अटेन्ड डिविनिटी लिव्ड एंड डिड द सेम माइल्स टू गो आर जर्नी कंटिन्यूज़